Game of Thrones is not exactly known for its morally upstanding characters. This approach means that terms like good and evil mean very little in the war-torn fantasy world of Westeros. Characters who seem honorable and righteous also make horrific choices, and the dastardly so-called villains occasionally perform acts of kindness and honor. With that in mind, Marjorie Tyrell, played by Natalie Dormer, has a lot in common with her peers on the show. While always hungry for power, like most characters on Game of Thrones, she does possess kindness and understanding that is quite uncommon among other royalty in Westeros. Still, no one is incapable of making terrible, inexcusable choices, and Marjorie is no different. I am the queen. In fact, there's one particular story arc of hers that some would argue goes way too far, even in this world of murder, betrayal, and oppression. Marjorie Tyrell is originally supposed to marry the cruel and brutal Joffrey Baratheon, played by Jack Gleason. However, upon his assassination, she marries Tommen Baratheon, played by Dean Charles Chapman, instead. Tommen is far kinder than his brother, but more susceptible to manipulation because of his young age and naivete. Marjorie uses this to her advantage and emotionally manipulates the young king into doing everything she wants. It's a truly uncomfortable relationship, and every scene between the two characters is difficult to watch. Eventually, after Marjorie is killed by Tommen's mother, Cersei, Tommen dies by suicide by jumping from a tower. While it's clear that his mother, with her thirst for power above all else, shares responsibility for this, the deeply problematic relationship between Marjorie and Tommen is at fault too. The fact that it ends so tragically is not only a testament to how realistic Game of Thrones can be at times, it's also another indicator of just how grim and unrelenting the show is when it comes to killing off its characters. So was it worth it for Marjorie? The young woman successfully becomes Queen of the Seven Kingdoms through her marriage to Joffrey and then Tommen, but it's quite a short reign. She easily gains control of Tommen, who falls in love with her, but she can't beat Cersei's manipulations, which lead the Faith Militant to arrest her brother Loras and then her. Tommen, without enough knowledge about the world of politics and how to use his power, is unable to save his wife or handle the emotional aftermath. Tommen's history of being coddled by his mother and abused by his older brother shapes him into the innocent and ill-prepared king he becomes. Likewise, Marjorie's manipulative ways are definitely created by those who raised her. In her case, the most influential person in her life is arguably Elena Tyrell, her grandmother and the matriarch of the Tyrell line. We all know how cunning the old woman is, successfully murdering Joffrey at his own wedding and framing Tyrion in order to get Marjorie on the throne. This in turn leads to her marriage to Tommen. You could even argue that Elena is to blame for Marjorie's death, although this is undoubtedly unintentional. Elena truly loves her granddaughter and would do anything to protect her. Marjorie has ambitious dreams born from Elena's guidance, and she knows how to manipulate people, especially men, in order to get what she wants. She's taught that power and control is the main goal in life, no matter the cost which Elena continuously encourages. While Marjorie appears to actually be a good person and care for Tommen, she is too blinded by the influences of her family and the psychological warfare going on in King's Landing. Marjorie tries to manipulate Tommen while still keeping him safe. However, in the end, her own goals remain the top priority, and Marjorie uses Tommen as a pawn, leading him down the path to his horrific fate. Compared to other characters in Game of Thrones, especially Cersei, Marjorie seems like a saint, but is she just as bad as the rest of them for the death her manipulations cause, or is she also a victim? Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.